thinking it was going to be a limited edition, um, but I was fooled. So I think everybody and their mother and their grandmother, whoever watches the show, got on the White Walker. Got all on top of them. So I'm going to crack this open. I'm going to give it a smell first. So most of this taste is a smell. I'm just, I'm just going to keep on twisting it, you know. Anyway. All right, smells. All right, hold on. Where's my black? Oh, my blackie here. Just out of comparison, Johnny Black is my favorite go-to reasonable scotch. So, all right. So, right off rip, the smell of this White Walker is sweet. It's like it's almost like. A liqueur sweet. I don't like liqueurs that much. I mean, when I was 18, 21, yeah, liqueurs would taste like juice, you know? But now when you're old like me, or my age, it's too sweet. I wake up the next day with diabetes, and uh, I feel like crap all day. So I like to drink straight up, you know, simple liquor. Straight, I like straight tequila. I like straight scotch. Uh, straight rum, kind of, not really, but I'll drink it. Um, but I really prefer scotch and tequila. Those are my two straight-up go-to drinks. I like Reposado tequila. I love Anejo tequila. They seem to have more of that smoky flavor, like if you like scotch. Uh, you probably remember the Reposados, you know, in a barrel for up to a year. Got a little more. It gives it a, a nice smoky flavor. You know, and then I think the Nejo's in, in a barrel up to over a year, maybe three, four, up to seven years in an oak barrel. And that has a really good flavor too. And it's more money, but it tastes a lot better. So I'll give this a try. And I tend to drink mine with just a couple cubes. I mean, I, I'm not doing one rock here. I'm doing a, two ghetto rocks in the refrigerator. See, it now smells a little better with the, with the a little bit of water flowing around. Now. <clears throat> it's it's okay. It's still too sweet for me. Let me do it straight up. Let me see how. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's sweet. It's a little bit better on the rocks because it's watered down a little bit. <clears throat> but yeah, it's a little too sweet for me. But I'm going to drink it anyway. Would I recommend to this anybody? List anybody? I would recommend it to someone who's never drank scotch before in their life. As like a, a gateway scotch. You know, because it's, it's pretty easy to drink. Um, and then maybe go to your Chivas, your Dewar's. Which I think is owned by Bacardi. I uh, bought them out. Chivas, uh, 12 years. And also your uh, Johnny Walkers are really good good go-to scotches just to start off with, you know. And I uh, hope you like this video that I made. I'm just starting out here. This is my home bar. Uh, I'm going to have little conversations and stuff with you guys here. Uh, maybe I'll get some special guests uh, up in this home bar. But uh, if you like, subscribe, um, and I'll see you again next time. All right, thanks, bye.